The White House has reiterated that the United States is firmly committed to its denuclearization policy on North Korea. The clarification came after Washington's top intelligence official suggested there were differences of opinion on the matter. For details, let's turn to our Kwan Soa. The U.S. government has reiterated that the denuclearization of North Korea remains its key policy goal in dealing with the country. White House Press Secretary Josh Ernest was responding to remarks made this week by James Clapper, the U.S. Director of National Intelligence, who said Washington should put a cap on the regime's nuclear capabilities and not try to denuclearize it. Ernest said Clapper seemed to be saying the current strategy would not likely prompt Pyongyang to give up its nuclear program before President Obama leaves office. He reaffirmed that in the long term, the U.S. will continue to work with the world to get North Korea to comply with its international obligations by adding pressure on the regime, including U.N. Security Council resolutions. This is seen as supporting an earlier State Department claim that denuclearization remains the U.S. goal with North Korea. A high-ranking South Korean official who spoke on condition of anonymity with South Korean correspondents in Washington Thursday gave his opinion, saying Clapper's remarks are quite different from the Obama administration's stance. On the recent informal talks between a North Korean delegation and former U.S. government officials in Malaysia, the official said the meeting suggests North Korea is not ready for a sincere dialogue and sanctions are what's needed to put effective pressure on Pyongyang. This, he said, as North Korea has only proven its stubborn claim that its nuclear program is needed for deterrence. Hansoa, Arirang News.